The Dark Secrets of the Nazi Leaders Paramours, 10 Controversial Women of the Third Reich Throughout history, powerful men have often been surrounded by women who were not only their partners but sometimes also their enablers, supporters, or fellow ideologues. The Nazi leaders were no exception. Their wives and mistresses often occupied prominent roles, sometimes getting deeply entangled in the atrocities of the Third Reich. This video delves into 10 such women and reveals some of the darker aspects of their relationships and roles within the Nazi regime. Number 1. Eva Braun, Hitler's Long-Term Lover Eva Anna Paula Braun was born in Munich on February 6, 1912. She came into Adolf Hitler's life when she was just 17, working as an assistant and model for Heinrich Hoffmann, the official photographer of the Nazi party. Their relationship remained largely hidden from public view, reflecting Hitler's intention to present himself as a celibate figure fully dedicated to the Nazi cause. Despite her relationship with one of the most influential men of the 20th century, Braun's political influence was minimal, with Hitler even keeping her existence a secret from the German public. Eva's letters and notes have painted a picture of a woman deeply infatuated with and loyal to Hitler. The intensity of her feelings, combined with Hitler's frequent neglect, might have led her to attempt suicide twice, first in 1932 and again in 1935. Some historians speculate that these attempts were desperate bids to garner more attention from Hitler. In April 1945, as Allied forces closed in on Berlin Eva Braun refused to leave Hitler's side. They married in a small civil ceremony within their bunker on April 29, 1945. Less than 40 hours later, the newlyweds committed suicide together, with Braun consuming cyanide. Number 2. Magda Goebbels, the mother who murdered her own children. Johanna Maria Magdalena Goebbels, commonly known as Magda, was the wife of Joseph Goebbels, Hitler's propaganda minister. Born on November 11, 1901, in Berlin, she met Joseph Goebbels in 1930, and they married the following year. Throughout their marriage, Magda was a devoted Nazi, sharing her husband's fanaticism. The Goebbels had six children, Helga, Hildegard, Helmut, Hedwig, Holdein, and Heidrun. The family projected an image of the ideal Aryan family, often used in propaganda campaigns. However, as the war turned against Germany and Berlin was on the brink of capture by the Allies, the couple's unwavering belief in National Socialism culminated in a horrifying act. Believing that life would be unbearable and meaningless without National Socialism, Magda and Joseph Goebbels made the chilling decision to kill their six young children. With the assistance of Ludwig Stumpfeger, Hitler's personal physician, they drugged their children to sleep before crushing cyanide capsules in their mouths, causing their deaths. After ensuring their children were dead, Magda and Joseph Goebbels went up to the Garden of the Reich Chancellery where they took their own lives on May 1, 1945. Number 3. Emmy Goring, the First Lady of the Third Reich. Emmy Sunman, born on March 24, 1893, in Hamburg, was a German actress before becoming the second wife of Hermann Goring, one of Hitler's main associates and the creator of the Gestapo. Due to her husband's status as the second most powerful man in Nazi Germany, Emmy was often dubbed the First Lady of the Third Reich. She reveled in her elevated status, frequently attending state functions, banquets, and theater visits in elaborate dresses, often designed by herself. The couple lived a lavish lifestyle, residing in a grand estate called Karenhall, named after Hermann's first wife. Post-war, Emmy was captured by the Allies and interrogated. She consistently defended Hermann, attempting to minimize his involvement in the Holocaust and other war crimes. She was detained for a year before being released and lived until 1973, often advocating for the memory of her husband. Number 4. Karen Goring, Obsessive Love for the Reichsmarschall. Karen Axelina Hulda Goring, née Fock, born on October 21, 1888, in Stockholm, was Hermann Goring's first wife. Their passionate and, at times, turbulent love story began when they met in 1920. Karen's fervent support for nationalist and anti-communist views deeply influenced Hermann, reinforcing his political inclinations. She became a vital emotional pillar for him, especially during the early years of the Nazi movement. Unfortunately, she suffered from ill health and passed away in 1931. 
Overwhelmed with grief, Hermann built Karen Hall in her memory, which also housed a mausoleum for her remains. Throughout his life, he often claimed to feel Karen's presence and guidance, emphasizing her undying impact on his psyche. Number 5. Annelise von Ribbentrop, the diplomat's wife. Annelies von Ribbentrop, née Henkel, was the wife of Joachim von Ribbentrop, Hitler's foreign minister. Born in 1900 to the wealthy Henkel sparkling wine family, Annelies married Joachim in 1920, and together they had five children. As the wife of the foreign minister, Annelies played the role of hostess to the hilt, organizing grand parties at their opulent residence, Schloss Fuschel, in Austria. She was often by her husband's side during significant diplomatic events, including the 1939 signing of the Pact of Steel with Italy's fascist leader, Benito Mussolini. After World War II, Annalise faced a challenging time, with her husband executed for war crimes. While she tried to distance herself from the horrors of the Nazi regime and her husband's actions, many saw her as being complicit due to her close association with the Nazi elite. Number 6. Ilse Hess, a devoted wife and believer in the Nazi cause. Born Ilse Prohl in 1900, she married Rudolf Hess, one of Hitler's earliest supporters, in 1927. As with many women associated with Nazi leadership, Ilse wasn't just a bystander, she was deeply ingrained in Nazi beliefs. Her commitment to the cause and her husband was evident when, in 1941, Rudolf made an unauthorized solo flight to Scotland, supposedly to negotiate peace. Despite his subsequent imprisonment by the British and later by the Allies during the Nuremberg trials, Ilse's loyalty to Rudolf never wavered. She wrote to him consistently during his incarceration until his death in Spandau prison in 1987. Number 7. Lita Barova, Goebbels' Czech Love Affair Lita Barova was born in 1914 in Prague and rose to fame as a renowned Czech actress in the 1930s. Her beauty and talent eventually took her to Berlin's film industry, where she caught the eye of propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels. Their passionate affair was the talk of the town in the late 1930s. So intense was their relationship that Goebbels reportedly contemplated leaving his wife, Magda, for Barova. This potential scandal threatened the carefully crafted image of the Nazi elite. When Hitler became aware of the situation, he demanded Goebbels end the relationship to prevent any damage to the reputation of the Nazi leadership. Barova's career in Germany came to an abrupt halt, and she returned to Czechoslovakia. After the war, her association with Goebbels haunted her, making her a controversial figure in European cinema. Number 8. Jelly Robble, Hitler's Niece and Obsession Angela Maria Jelly Robel was born in 1908, the daughter of Adolf Hitler's half-sister, Angela Robel. Jelly moved to Munich during her late teens and lived in Hitler's apartment, furthering their close bond. Their relationship raised eyebrows, with whisperings and speculations of an intimate connection. The air of mystery surrounding them thickened when, in 1931, Jelly was found dead in her room from a gunshot wound. While the official verdict was suicide, conspiracy theories have persisted over the decades, with some suggesting that Hitler might have had a hand in her demise due to their complicated relationship. Number 9. Margret Himmler, Heinrich's devoted wife. Margret Boden, known as Marga, married SS Reichsfuhrer Heinrich Himmler in 1928. The two were ideologically aligned, with Margret echoing her husband's staunch anti-Semitic beliefs. This was not a mere passive agreement, she actively participated in the Nazi regime's activities. Notably, she played a role in the furnishing of the common dance house at Auschwitz, one of the deadliest concentration camps. Margaret's involvement underscores the depth of her commitment to the Nazi cause and her husband's heinous endeavors. Number 10. Henriette von Skyrak, Hitler's youth friend turned critic. Henriette Hoffmann was the daughter of Heinrich Hoffmann, Hitler's personal photographer, which meant she grew up in close quarters with the Nazi elite. In 1932, she married Baldur von Skyrak, who later became the leader of the Hitler Youth. As someone who had spent much of her life in Nazi circles, Henriette witnessed firsthand many of the regime's actions. Her defining moment came when she visited Amsterdam and was appalled by the atrocities committed against Jews. 
Distraught, she confronted Hitler at his Berghof residence, leading to a dramatic and irrevocable rift between the two. Hitler was so angered by her audacity that he banned her from his presence. While Henriette did voice her criticisms later on, it's crucial to remember that she and her husband had previously profited from the confiscation of Jewish property, highlighting the complexities of her moral position within the Third Reich.